What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw the female body. So, as you can see on my page here, I have the head already drawn at a certain position and I also have a bunch of stick lines on my page that look like a stick figure and that's exactly what you're going to need before you start to draw any human character because if this weren't here and I were to start to draw the female body right here right now, I'd be making a lot of last minute decisions on myself on the movement of the arms, movement of the legs, movement of the hands, movement of the feet and it just results in a whole lot of mess ups, a whole lot of mistakes like all that stuff you do not want to do. So that's why it's very important to get the movement of the body parts drawn before you do anything. Also, if you're drawing the female body and you don't want to use this pose, I recommend looking up reference images on Google, on Pinterest, or anywhere on the internet. Just get that movement in first before you do anything. But in my case, since I already have it on my page here, we can just get started right away. So let's go. Okay, so like I said, I already have the face drawn, but if you do want to learn how to draw the face, I got a whole playlist that'll pop up right here with all my how to draw face videos. And in that playlist, I cover how to draw the face at a front view, how to draw it at a three quarter view, how to draw it at a profile view, and even how to draw it at a back three quarter view. So check that playlist out if you do want to learn how to draw the face. But in this video, we're not going to focus too much on that. So we're going to shift down and start drawing the torso. So as you can see, the torso is at a specific position, and then there's these straight lines on the top and bottom of the torso. This top line is meant to be the shoulders. This bottom line is meant to be the hips. So based off these two lines, we know that our character has a hip and shoulder tilt. So starting just off of this little joint here, I'm gonna match that same curved line, but I'm gonna stop just before we get down to the hips because right now it's the torso. Okay. And then the lines that we're gonna make on this side is gonna be a little bit different. So we're gonna start off by making that same line. So this line is not gonna be as curved as this one or this one, it's just gonna be somewhat straight, but it's still gonna go in that same direction. Like that. And then down here we can connect the two with a curved line like this like that and then off of this point where we started to draw the torso we can begin to draw breasts so just a water balloon shape on this side and then a line in the middle to connect the two in a way and there we go that's the torso and now since we got that drawn, we can begin to draw the shoulders. So let's start off with this one. So coming off of the neck, we're gonna make a sloping line that comes down, okay? And then after we do that, we can come around this little shoulder joint and begin to construct the arm. We're just doing do we're just going to do the top one for a second. And we're going to finish the top portion of the arm. So it's going to come back to the body. Like that. And then we can erase this overlapping line. Okay. And now we can draw the forearm. So the forearm is pretty easy. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to curve out. Then back in. And then on this side of the arm, it's going to be somewhat straight. So it's going to match this same guideline here. Like that. And then I'm just going to quickly draw in a hand. Because that's where the hand usually goes. Okay. And now let's do the other arm on this side. So again, making a sloping line off of the neck. Then we're gonna make a curved line coming around that shoulder joint. And it's gonna slide down and follow that same arm guideline. And then we're gonna finish the arm. And then this arm is gonna be bent so the forearm is going to be overlapping a couple of these uh, lines that we just finished drawing. 
So I'm just gonna make a curve out and then coming back in to make the wrist, which we're gonna draw in a second. And then the outer portion of the arm will follow this line. It's not gonna be as straight as that line, but it's gonna be close enough to it. Like that. And then we're gonna erase. And there we go. And now I'm gonna quickly draw in a hand. And just add a couple adjustments to the arm. And there we go, we got the upper body drawn. So let's go lower and start to draw the hips. So the hips are pretty self-explanatory on a female because the female body has a lot of curves. So we're gonna start off at this point of the torso. We're gonna make this line come out and it's gonna begin to form not only the hips but the legs as well. Or one of the legs in this case. So the arm is in the way but I'm gonna draw over top of it real quick. See how the line like that begins to form the leg and I'm going to make that into a cylinder and then I'm going to finish the leg. So right here where these two lines kind of intersect, I'm going to draw an X right here. That's going to be the crotch and then I'm going to construct the thigh and a thigh it looks like a parentheses kind of shape. So it's going to be curved like this. See, it's curved over here and curved right here. That's what I mean when I say the female body has a lot of curves. But sometimes the crotch may be a little bit off. So I'm just gonna erase that portion because it's too close to the torso. I'm gonna begin drawing it right about here. It's a good spot. Okay, and then let's go lower and finish the leg down here. So the leg on this character is hyperextended at this pose. So it's gonna appear longer than it should and it's gonna be bent backwards a little bit. The leg doesn't necessarily bend backwards, but that's the way it looks when it's hyperextended. So as you can see, the leg is bent backwards. So the leg is gonna be hyperextended. So the kneecap right here won't be very visible, but I'm gonna draw a little over right here to show that. And then as we make a curve coming off of that oval, it's gonna match this line somewhat. Like that. And now we can finish the leg on this side. So coming off of this little dash right here, that's the knee, like I said, where I drew this uh, oval over here. I'm gonna make a curve out. And slowly have it come back in to make the foot. So curve out, come back in. Okay, and then let's go back to this portion. I can draw the knee in just a little bit, but like I said, it's not gonna be showing as much as it should. So I'm just gonna draw in a small shape like that. That's gonna be hard to see. And yeah, that's one leg. So now let's go back up here and draw in the other leg. So coming off of the other side of the torso, just gonna follow that line. Make a circle down there for the knee. Okay. And then off of the back of this leg, we're gonna make a curve out. That's the calf, and then it's gonna come back in like this to make the ankle. Similar to how we did the arms up here. And then the outer portion of this leg will follow those lines, but it's not gonna be exactly as straight as those lines. And the kneecap is shown on this side, so I'm gonna draw that in. And yeah. There we go. And now let's go even lower and draw in the feet. So the feet I have at a specific position. I'm not gonna stress about drawing each and every toe. So I'm just gonna keep it simple by just drawing some socks on this character.
right here is the bridge and down here is the heel I'm just gonna draw in some socks and then this foot over here is kind of pressed to the ground so nothing is elevated uh, this little shape right here those are the toes what I drew over here is the heel and then right here is the bridge and it connects back to the leg like this and now let me zoom back out so I can show you guys everything and yeah that's the female body and let me erase this line too and a couple other lines in fact that's our next step we can erase any overlapping lines that we don't need just fix up a few things like you can actually draw in the hands if you want but I'm not gonna waste time doing it but if you do want to learn how to draw the hands I got three videos on how to draw the hands two of them are public on YouTube the other is exclusive on my patreon so links to those two hand videos will be in the description one will pop up right here and there will also be a link to my patreon so you can get to that third how to draw hands video so again I'm not gonna waste time drawing the hands all we're doing now is making adjustments to the human body and then right up here at the torso where we started to draw the one leg we can make that portion curved a little bit so it's not so angular in that area add a couple adjustments here And if you want, you can just throw in some clothes on your character. Like down here, I added some socks. We can add like a little, uh, I don't know what this is called, like a onesie. That's what I'm going to add over up here. Give my character like a onesie. I think that's what it's called. Add a collar. And yeah, that's the female body. So what I'm gonna do is take this character, ink it. I'm not gonna color it, but I'm gonna finalize this sketch and come back to you guys and show you what that looks like. So, let's go. All right, and there you go. That's how you draw the female body. So if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.